Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about proper folder structure for DAS content best practices. If you're a DAS content creator, it's very important that you understand these concepts and that your items are created with proper folder structure and that the files are put in the correct places. Doing this incorrectly will likely cause your item not to work when a user installs it on their machine and even worse, it could possibly cause your item to overwrite an existing item on that user's machine, wiping out their other product completely. So let's dive right in and have a look at what the right way is to do this to ensure when your users purchase your item, it's gonna work as expected. So let's go ahead and take a look at this folder structure. On my computer, you can see I've got my DAS 3D library and under there are several subfolders. This is the highest level of organization in the DAS folder system. This is where you would separate things out by the item type. So you'll see things like animals, vehicles, people, props, camera presets, shader presets, etc. are all at this level. Many items are designed to work with specific Genesis platforms and they will only work with those platforms. So things like anatomy, characters, clothing, hair, poses, props, etc., will only work with the platform they're intended to. So if you're creating an item for a specific Genesis platform, that item should go in a subfolder under the correct Genesis platform folder. So for instance, if I create a character for Genesis A female, it should go into the characters folder under the Genesis 8 female folder. So here you'll notice some folders that are named after standard characters in the DAS library, like Ico, Charlotte, Olympia, and Victoria. These are DAS 3D standard characters available on the DAS website. But you'll also notice a folder named Eon, which is my vendor name. It's very important that we put our content in a folder with our vendor name to ensure that we don't have a problem with overwriting other vendors items. So imagine if I created a character named Jane and I just created a folder called Jane to put those files into. If another vendor had a character named Jane and that was moved over here, it would overwrite my item. It is possible that two vendors could have the same name. So this is not a hundred percent foolproof but it makes it less likely that you'll run into this issue. And it's helpful if you have a vendor name that's somewhat unique. So as you can see in this folder is where my characters are. So let's take a look at my Ariana character. You'll notice she has her own subfolder. In there is the main character files as well as the main character more files. But you'll also notice is a material subfolder. And this is where we put presets for things like custom colors for finger and toenails, for skin tones, and for makeup. And you can even include things like tattoos in here if you want to include them. So now I'd like to talk about a main subfolder called Runtime. This subfolder is critical because it's where Daz Studio looks for certain things, the most important of which is textures. The textures folder is where we put our texture maps for all of our products. So anything we create, whether it's a prop or a character or anything at all that has a texture map, that means an actual JPEG or PNG or TIFF, those maps, those files go into this folder. But we can't just throw them directly into the textures folder because that would create chaos. So you guessed it, we're gonna create another folder in the textures folder with our vendor name. In your vendor folder, you'll create a folder for each of your items. You'll notice I have a folder for Ariana and this is where all her texture files go. This is to ensure that you don't overwrite any folders or files from products offered by other vendors. So let's take another look. This is a pose set that I created called Airplane Nose Art Poses. And they're specifically for Genesis 8 Female. 
So take a look at the people folder, Genesis 8 female, poses, and this is where I created my vendor folder, Eon, because the pose set is offered by me. So in my vendor subfolder, you'll see the Airplane Nose Art Poses subfolder, and in that subfolder is where all the pose files go. Again, this is to ensure that I don't overwrite any files from another vendor that might have a product with the same name. It's also a great way to help create awareness of your vendor store by having these folders set up with your vendor name. People do like to have their content separated out by vendor and this will do that for them. So following some basic rules will ensure that your content works properly when a user downloads it and also ensure that you're not overriding other vendors content. So I hope you found the video useful. Keep creating awesome content and check back for more videos from RenderHub. I'll see you at renderhub.com.